welcome back hmm. today is actually kiss and makeup day a special holiday <laughs> dedicated to reconciliation and celebrating the beauty of reconciliation and this day was created by author thomas m stern in 2001 as an opportunity for people to make peace with those who may have hurt them or vice versa, like someone who is sitting at this table with me tonight. It's a great way for us all to practice forgiveness and express our love through acts of kindness towards one another. And on that note, Damilola. <laughs> Minko. Nobody's kissing and making love with me. Please, 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 please. <laughs> So it's kiss and makeup day. Have you ever have you ever had have you ever gotten into a situation of some sort where you have had to just say, you know what, let's just bury the hatchet? Um, yeah. Well, I think I do that a lot. And there was a time when I was wondering, am I a people pleaser mm, person? Mm. But then I realized that I don't like I don't like conflict. I, I kind of get aggressive and I've gotten to acknowledge the fact that most people don't know how to handle sensitive people, mm. you know. So I've realized that on days when I become super sensitive, I'm always quick to be the person to just kiss and make up, you know. So, yeah. But I, I don't know. I find, <laughs> I find myself in that a lot of times. I'm mostly with my family. Right? <laughs> Yeah. They offend you and then you just have to be the ones just say, you know what, guys. You know what? Okay. Yeah, I value the relationship more, more than, than my grudge and what. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. That means your thoughts on this. I mean, it depends on the situation. Sometimes if the situation calls for it. Sometimes if the situation calls for, I mean, calls for a little confrontation, sometimes you might just need to seek closure. Like, I need an explanation as to why you acted the way you acted because. I genuinely believe that everybody has a reason for doing whatever it is they do. I don't believe nobody knows what they are. I mean, I don't believe people don't know what they are doing. Yeah, let me put it that way. So, if the situation calls for a kiss and makeup, if it doesn't come for, I mean, if it doesn't call for a kiss and makeup, really, sometimes forgiving people silently also works. Yeah. Not necessarily saying it to their face, just forgive and move on. But ultimately, peace, maybe I'm an advocate for peace sometimes. <laughs> are you? <laughs> are you sure you are? Mm -hmm. Okay, Dami, what do you find for us in the news? Okay, um, so what I found in the news, um, so, I mean, recently, I think recently was like two days ago, maybe even yesterday, mm -hmm. this um, Calabar, University of Calabar students who were, I think, who and some of them were raped or something. Like that. River State. Okay, that's River State, sorry. The one for Calabar is um, the professor, yes, that's yeah, what I wanted to remember, assault. sorry. Yeah, sexual assault. Yeah, the professor who, well, that's, I, I can't even say it out because it's very appalling. Asking students to perform a sexual activity for grades. And it's, it's very, very, and apparently this person has been doing it for years. This has been going on for years. He mm -hmm. was um, suspended and then reinstated. Mm. So that's why this, even this suspension now that they have suspended him, many people are just like, we did not reinstate him again because yeah. it's like the usual thing. So really mm -hmm. and truly, is justice really going to be served? Anyway, mm -hmm. a group, the Women's Network, has appealed to President Bola Hamed Tinubu to assent to the prevention, prohibition, and redressal of sexual harassment in tertiary education institutions bill passed by the Ninth National Assembly. The group similarly recommended that educational institutions in Nigeria should, as a matter of necessity, develop a sexual and gender harassment policy to safeguard the dignity of girls with a view of providing a safe environment for learning. Because really, for, for law students to... First of all, I don't think protest is something that law students should do. Mm -hmm. So for them to actually come out en masse and um, to protest. protest, it means that the matter is um, long overdue mm. and they're really tired. And... For one, I'm very glad and impressed that they were very brave to actually come out to protest because I can't even imagine being in university now and then for me to pass a course. Lecture say I must come. Hey, I'll go to the mountain, you know, because <laughs> <laughs> we will set it, we will set it in the spiritual realm because ha, it is really crazy. So I mean for this to have been going on and on, really mm. I, 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 I believe that it's about time. You know, I don't even it's think a, that the president that or the presidency out. should even dilly dally about it. It's something that yeah. I mean square head, like let's just get this out of the system once and for all. But then again, like I said, we can only hope that um, 
just this is going to be saved this yeah. time around. So. I mean, even if they pass the bill, there is always this thing about Nigeria and um, implementation. Uh, we have implementation problem in Nigeria, all, honestly speaking. Yeah, yeah. We it's even, that, a, it's so. even a shame mm. that we are even still dealing with something, something as, as trivial, trivial as, as this. this. It Six for great in 2023 when they, with all the problems in this world, yeah, one lecturer will still sit your down problem is sex. Say, you understand from your, your students, your problem in this life <laughs> is not fuel, is not <laughs> renewed, one dollar. Everything is, is abba. like, like bro, yeah, even, come if you, on. even if you want yeah, to do, if you want to do. If you want to do whatever it is you want to do, like mm. take it outside, don't don't shit for church, you know, mm. don't don't shit in your domot, mm. don't come on, like. It's, it does. It's, it's to say it is appalling is actually to say the least. But then, well, well, we can only hope. I, th I just think women deserve like a lot better, more, mm. more, more honor. Like, don't you just get tired of your body you being seen as as an object? You <laughs> see a man and you're like, hey, I need this, I need this, or could you help mm. me with this? Or, and automatically it just translates I mean, into that's... there are very few men who are disciplined enough to not ask you for sex. And even in the middle of that discipline, mm. at at some point or the other, they will mm -hmm. always insinuate yeah. it yeah. to just that's try you and see if I press this button, will it work? Yeah. Like. I'm just grateful that all my time in the university, I actually never encountered, because I don't know if I'll be able to deal if I encountered something like this, because mm -hmm. I can imagine the emotional torture. So because I want to pass in school, I have to come and like, make it make sense, please. Yeah. yeah. As well. Yeah. Currently, what's so, okay. Oh, it's about petrol price, so in any good state, mm -hmm. so. And I'm particularly happy about this news, because... Each time I travel to the village, uh, I'm from Anambra, but I also shot to Enugu and Anambra uh, whenever I'm in the east. There is just this thing that Easterners do. Uh, it's either they increase the price of fuel, like you'll be, they'll be selling 570 or 650 in Abuja. When you go down, they'll be selling 680. Uh, course, yeah, I don't know why they do that. I don't really understand. Maybe, maybe when transport. we... Transport. Uh, okay, well, this transportation. Time, but uh, then this time around, the governor of Enugu State, Peter Mba, has called them out. I think he was speaking through the Commissioner for Special Duties, Mr. Mekha Joku. He was saying that, oh, he paid an unscheduled visit uh, to, like, okay. several uh, field stations to catch in them. Enugu. <laughs> yeah, both the major ones and the minor ones. And he realized that they all, uh, what is it called? The, their meters were not accurate. So they were cheating on customers. And, you know, when people are lamenting, you feel powerless. But at this point, like, the moment he was going through the visit, you would literally see people, like, hovering around him. And, like, they were happy. It was like, thank you, thank you. Because it's not, it doesn't feel good to be cheated. Fuel is already expensive. Mm -hmm. And you're increasing price. Life okay. is already hard. Yeah, why make Nigeria? it hard? Yeah. You know? Like, I think it's just insensitive and selfish. Yeah. Maybe there's a better choice of word, but that's how I feel. There's a better choice of word. That's what it is. It's just <laughs> insensitive and selfish, actually. Okay, well, my story, as if it's not enough that they are insensitive and selfish, they are now lying again now. Oh. Because the government ha is definitely facing heavy criticism over the 4.1% unemployment data. I don't remember. Okay, I think it was NG I was having mm -hmm. this conversation with last night before mm -hmm. we came on air. And she said, oh, and unemployment rates has reduced. I asked her, I was like, sorry, what did you say? Reduced or increased? She said reduced. I said, well, she said, that's what she saw in the news. And I read it, I'm like, excuse mm. you, <laughs> reduced from 2021 till now. You're telling me it has dropped. So they claim that it has dropped from 33 point something percent mm -hmm. to 4.1 percent. In which country? In <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, do, I, 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 I did say Nigeria. I didn't get the memo. That we are in. <laughs> Definitely, that's not true. So the Nigeria Labour Congress, through its National Secretary General, has kicked against the new unemployment um, figures data that was released by the National Bureau of Statistics, saying it is not reflective of the current realities of this country, mm -hmm. which is the truth, actually. And despite stating that 133 million Nigerians were multidimensionally poor as of November 2022, the NBS on Thursday revealed that unemployment rates dropped to 4.1% in the first quarter of 2023. This same first quarter of 2023, I know how many people that how do not really have jobs. Possible? How many people have even the government, who is supposed to be uh, the uh, highest uh, employer of labor, how many people have the government so, no, actually even employed? So, no, here is the thing. If there is increased employment, mm. what is now the need for palliatives? Right. Why are right. you then going about sharing right. palliatives? If people are making more and getting more employed, then the government shouldn't be spending precious money that should be focused on other things, on palliatives. Maybe they are trying so to it's like, argument it because the, um, what's that thing called now? 
the uh, um, the minimum wage mm. is very low, so they are probably trying to augment. So use the money spent on palliatives, add it to minimum wage, and increase it. <laughs> it's more hard. No, but okay. Uh, so harder. someone was saying that it's probably <laughs> what the the di that the dynamics or rather the dimensions they are looking at it from that they are yeah. looking at it from the point of maybe a lot of. People have now created their own businesses. That's why they are saying that. I said, okay, true. We well, now have more um, e businesses, yeah. right? And you yeah. know, online businesses and all of that. Mm -hmm. but job creation. Job, yeah, but are you saying that that has that is the statistics that they are using to measure this? I'm not sure. I don't think so. So How please, you push get your facts to right. So employed really by private know. sectors, really yeah. and truly. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> mm, let's come back to our conversation for tonight, right? We're talking about. Um, Separating your professionalism from your online persona. But when we come back after the break, we'll continue the conversation. See you soon.